All right, guys, we're off. <clears throat> Calling this Rut Camp 2K19. It is October 26th, um, right at noon. Things are starting to heat up. I've got vacation next week and really the week after that, and I plan on spending a lot of time in the woods. Um, I've got a couple days. i got to go back to work Monday, Tuesday. Might be able to slip out even early a little bit on those days. Um, got a couple of good bucks spotted, and we've, we've hunted a little bit. We have we saw some good deer, we've shot some deer, but we've tried to stay out of there as much as we can. You know, We've done some observations. We've tried to figure a few of these deer out. Um, without really trying to push too hard so they can kind of stay in their core area and, and really not get used to our habits and our stands because we're kind of sitting in the same spot so we've really tried to stay out of there and wait on this really this rut activity to really kick in the gear and from some of the things I've seen and heard some of the things that we've observed out on the farm it's it's about to be prime time we just had a cold front push through it's still raining right now but it's supposed to clear up this afternoon it's really been raining the last day and a half, so we're really thinking these deer are going to come out and feed in these beans, um, and in doing so, hopefully pull some of those bucks out with all those does. So I'm excited. We got everything packed up and ready to go. Should be a good afternoon. It's supposed to rain again in the morning, but again, hopefully clear up again in the afternoon, and then going past that, it looks like a really great week. Some cold temperatures in the 30s, high in the 40s. Um, it's just going to really set up for some great road activity and, and keep them going strong. So that's the plan. Hopefully we'll get something knocked down, but if not, we're going to have a good time doing it anyway. So follow us along and we'll see what happens. That's north. It's a northeast wind, so it's coming from the northeast. We're gonna go and check like we did last time. That would kill my buck. We're gonna walk this scrape line, and if we don't get any hot sign there, we're gonna work right back down to the tree where I killed my buck in. If we don't have hot sign there, we're gonna go to the next one. So we're pretty much just gonna jump these stands until we find some fresh sign. Quite a bit of rain. Sent me. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Drink beer the whole time. <laughs> Start dropping f bombs. I'm like, hey, I don't like these guys. You guys are cool, man. <laughs> you guys are working class for my real pillow. Fucking funny too. <laughs> Thank you. 
close to the net or to plant the trees yet. Yeah, I'm not sure I can see them anymore. They saw me turn my face. They're pretty close. They may have saw me too. Got us off guard. sound upside down. <laughs> I think he's upside down. Oh. Just okay, go ahead. You're good. That's great. It's right there. We're hoping. He's down this ditch. Where he's twirling there, Real nice and pretty like. <laughs> Hoping they'll work right down that to us. It's the plan. He planted some radishes. What else did you plant here? Radishes is the only thing that's showing up, so we're just gonna say radishes. <laughs> Successfully planted radishes. Yeah. Uh, with the soybeans being pretty much dried up, we're thinking the deers get in here and start to snip these off a little bit. Greens and greens combo. Greens and greens. Yeah. between these two bean fields or between these two bedding areas. That's why there's a lot of scrapes working all the way down this. With it being late October, we're hoping one comes down through here with does or freshen up scrapes after a two-day rain.
going. I'm trying to get to the stand on that bedding area and got down there and our wind is wrong. I'm thinking we kind of blew a buck out of there to be brutally honest, so we just decided to back out. We're gonna hunt this little knoll. It's kind of kind of got an oak flat on top. It seems like they're going to bed right here. Luther saw some bucks here a month or so ago. But we're kind of just gonna go in here on a whim, guys, and sit by a tree or kind of scout and hunt and check it out. So if anything, it's gonna give us more information for the next couple weeks. We'll start hunting the rut. Sit down and see if we can at least see anything on the bed on top of this hill. It's ideally up to get on this hill. This northwest wind at his back. Pretty much see the road, see everything we wanted to see on this farm. So we got to the top of this knoll and some deer saw us and kind of blew out. They didn't even blow, they just kind of ran. And we were walking because now we're going to try to find a tree stand or a tree for a stand. And we walked across this log, it's laying down. It killed a cow. There's the hip bones. There's the skull. All the other bones are underneath of it. Oh, deer and found a tree. I guess we are hunting. Well, we well, think it quit raining. It's been raining for the last three days. Had us a little nap, watched us a little football. We're gonna ease out. Another nap. Yeah, it's about 4.30. We're gonna go sit in a stand on the corner of some beans and some corn in hopes that those deer come in there. It's a good spot we've had a camera on it. We've got what? By three shooter bucks on it. 75, 76. Close. That was close. That was almost 71 off. But we know there's no bucks around there. We just don't know if they're daylight yet. But we're kind of in the mood to shoot just about anything. So that's what Wait. we're going to do. Wait. slamming doors and honking horns and now he's worried about a gate rattle. <laughs>